Welcome to the United Chapter YouTube channel. My name is Abu Kals and today we dive into the latest uh, transfer buzz uh, surrounding Manchester United's pursuit of defensive solidarity and particularly uh, the, uh, the options that we are going to be talking about. A uh, very interesting and one football player from uh, Everton and uh, yet more let's really uh get into uh what we are meant to be uh talking about particularly uh the opening bid for everton's uh gerard brandthwaite and uh, it will be noted that reports suggest the manchester united's initial offer rumored to be around 45 million uh sets the stage for what could be a pivotal negotiation with Everton who value uh, the football player Branthwaite and significantly higher at approximately 70 million. As Manchester United navigates a Rafael Varane's departure and seeks to bluster the defensive ranks under new ownership, uh, this bid signifies a crucial step forward in the shaping of their squad as uh, you definitely know that for the upcoming season to be much better this definitely needs to be done and stay tuned as we definitely unravel uh, more updates and a uh, significant and also uh, very wonderful insights on Manchester United's uh, transfer dealings and now uh, let's really get straight into it uh, let's get uh, straight into it and uh, Manchester United's opening offer for uh, Jared uh, Branthwaite definitely is something that we're going to be talking about and evaluating uh, the transfer situation. We're definitely going to be talking quite a lot about uh, the current situation at Manchester United plus also Everton and their relationship when it comes to the defender Jared Branthwaite. And in recent transfer news, Manchester United has made their initial bid for Everton defender Jared Branthwaite, uh, while some sources suggest that the offer was roughly valued at $45 million. Uh, and definitely conflicting reports indicate that it may be uh, considerably lower and uh, no, uh, nonetheless uh, it is anticipated that uh, the offer will be turned down that is what we think and uh, that's what we definitely know as it is uh, right about now and also uh, the, what is the importance of defensive recruitment at the club Manchester United we need to understand we need to get proper into it and uh, get to know much more about it Manchester United following the FA Cup victory uh, has definitely highlighted the urgent need to strengthen uh, their defensive lineup this uh, very summer with the imminent departure of Rafael Veran and a contract offer extended to Johnny Evans, the club is actively uh, going on and seeking reliable options uh, for uh, the, for their back line. So, really, mm, uh, when you see it, when you look at it in a different way, why would Veran be uh, 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 been? Uh, do you think Veran should have? been given a, an extension to his contract or it was the right decision and how do you compare uh, Veran and uh, Evans anyway I'll leave that to you otherwise Everton's evaluation and financial considerations on uh, the Everton side uh, they definitely have not disclosed a specific evaluation or you can call it uh, evaluation for Branthwaite as uh, they passive his uh, they, uh, they passive him to be an uh, a very wonderful player a valuable asset and a key player under Sin Deitch's management moreover uh, there is a uh, speculation that Everton might be compelled to sell one of their key players by the end of June uh, to make sure that they adhere to the Premier League profit and sustainability rules which affected them a few months ago after their points were definitely deducted. This potential sell could enable them to maintain a financial a sustainable position and I must say Everton most of the time is always done but they always find a reason to not go into the relegation zone. 
so additional uh, uh, potential transfers we can talk about uh, we're going to talk about additional potential transfers and one of them being Amadou Onana another player from Everton has been identified as someone who could command a substantial transfer fee however as of now no concrete moves have surfaced regarding the midfielder with a lot of def uh, I don't know how can call it but there is quite a lot of competition for Ahmad Onana uh, with Arsenal and Manchester United in tight competition for the football player so Everton stand, uh, Everton's uh, standpoint uh, definitely uh, Sky Sports News Michael uh, Bridge has shed light on Everton's uh, viewpoint regarding uh, Branthwaite and he asserts that Everton values the defender at 70 million pounds but emphasized that the club is not obliged to sell their top players exemplarily uh, to ex uh, exemplifying actually uh, uh, their commitment to uh, fortifying their squad and now I've got to get the, uh, 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 my conclusion I've got to give you my conclusion about this so uh, uh, it will be noted that in, uh, in the footballing landscape this uh, early bid from Manchester United under Jim Ratcliffe's uh, in your ownership marks a beginning of a new exciting new era for the club Manchester United and nevertheless negotiations are uh, still going on uh, they're still ongoing and it remains to be seen how their transfer situation will unfold it's uh, uh, actually it will be interesting to witness uh, to witness uh, further developments in both Manchester United's pursuit of Branthwaite and Everton's uh, stance on player acquisition in the upcoming transfer window which is definitely quite quite uh, uh, starting very soon as uh, some clubs have already uh, begun even uh, getting the football players uh, signing the football players some players have already signed for some clubs so stay tuned for more updates uh, throughout this summer as i will be uh, bringing to you the latest about uh, manchester united uh, everything you need to know and uh, getting a bit of news also about uh, uh, the current manchester united manager we all we knew and we thought that this move was secured uh, manchester united had, uh, had definitely uh, said that they are going to stick with Eric Ten Hag the next season but we got a uh, news from Manchester United evening uh, news saying that there is big chance that he still will not be a Manchester United manager the coming season and he's already even landed himself a new job elsewhere apart from Manchester United we're talking about Eric Ten Hag Anyway, I uh, thank you for being part of this. I'll be bringing to you any uh, latest information about that and any transfer news that you definitely need to know. Thank you for being part of uh, the United Chapter YouTube channel. And please subscribe, ring that notification bell. Thank you. And I must say goodbye for now.